to the spring. Spring became the summer. was born after the war years at the tail end of the swing era. At a young age, he contracted Yaw's disease. On a doctor's call, his father buried him up to his waist in the sand to strengthen his legs. Had he lost the use of his legs, it would not have mattered. For what he wanted to do, he needed only the use of his hands and a powerful set of lungs. <laughs> Most singers got their start in church. My dad began his in the river where the youth gathered after church. <laughs> Okay, guys, from the top. Can they even make a line and move forward? Can I carry on my coffin? Cause we want more. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, we so much more. We want more. We want more for you. I think I can get a good idea. I'm going to make 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 at times, his children bore the same burden. The children are crying, Moana. Don't you I
A love for music put my dad at odds with his father, a stickler for family responsibilities. At times, the old man enforced his will with his fist. As time went by, Fifteen years ago, I was in from my in Newport Beach. My for my ear. Jimmy Finkar, a limb fight, limb fight laser. I forgot to pay for my There's something there. I said, I'm going to fuss I said, I'm going to pay for my socket to the ear. I'm going to pay for my ear. I'm going to pay for my ear. The Gray household was like any other. Every child has a responsibility. My dad's sisters were to carry the family's music legacy. My dad's was to serve. My dad's father anger stemmed from my dad seemingly neglecting his responsibility. But not even a father's wrath would keep my dad from singing. Just an old sweet song keeps Georgia on my mind. But I said Georgia Georgia, a song of you just comes sweet and clear like moonlight through the pond.
Though, at 18, my dad was already making money, Western Samoa proved too small. Several gigs later, he traded his strings for an anchor rope on board the freighter Sulimoni, and he was on his way to American Samoa in pursuit of a big break. The hotel owner hired my dad on the spot, even after he was told my dad was a sailor from poor Western Samoa. Do you want to work? Do you want to work here to bring back? Oh, fuck. Do you want me to, to play exactly what you're doing? You play music here. I play there six, seven days a week in Hanawaku. They said, Michael, there ain't a microphone. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. But the bubble burst. A rival reported my dad to immigration and he landed back on the Sulimoni to Western Samoa. Each time they sent him packing, he returned, more determined than before. A lesson instilled with a belt now served my dad. He leaned on his fellow sailors to do as his father had trained him. In American Samoa, my dad met the love of his life, Emily Alaulangi. Emily's family disapproved of the relationship. The two eloped and got hitched with the borrowed suit and gown. My dad's dream got an unexpected boost after he received devastating news from home. <laughs> Five years old, I was a couple. So, I was a 
kalo wa mo ko nga me mo ave e yo pusa pa e lehi o mo me yo and that's what's nga makai lo yo fika mo fa pe oi no for mama fa 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 la i ami ko se la rimas fu but America wasn't as easy a gig as my dad figured. Aside from culture shock, unfamiliar territory, and a cold weather, he and my mom faced a bigger problem. When I got to Newport Beach, I was to survive, my dad recruited the help of two Samoan musicians. But Harry Sinatra, Harry Sinatra was a very talented kid from Oua. Found the love for yeah. You know how it's like. But we did well for the final man Mako. Mako who? Ah, I love him. La bora la mai sisi, sabe que vai ir cá com. That someone was Newport businessman Jim Slemons. As agent Slemons took the band to unimagined heights with bookings in Las Vegas, Lake Tahoe, and Alaska. But seven years of life on the edge proved too much for my mom. She fled to Samoa with her two children. My dad had to decide, follow his dream or us. <laughs> I say if I attempt to When we came back I said to myself, okay. Yo wanna know oh he 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 some real finest of the Samoans I've ever seen. Walk over, you know, top end uh, musicians, guys. Hall, Junior Hall, you know, everybody. Then I said to myself, okay, okay, I know all these great musicians in, in uh, America, in, in, in Pamo. They already know all these songs that they play. And I said, okay, la ko la ko fo la ma uya. The same songs, same kind of music, and I said, why don't I do something different? Ava was born, but my dad wasn't content with just being different. He had his sights set on America, an idea hatched. It would lead him to a man he knew only by reputation. I recorded my own little cassette site, and I said, okay. I, I was able to do it like on a four track, and I listened to it, and I play, I play it everything, and listen to it, and I, I okay, I, I have got like, Four songs on it. I had uh, Lose Uriana, I had uh, I had uh, Ole Olanga Samoa. Ole Olanga Samoa, the
a fair anyone be compiled because I've never I never met Tom Muffet. Never. It was the beginning of a new direction for my dad. The Ava album made him an instant household name. It would also impel him to the next step, a second album. But a year after the release of the Ava album, the second one appeared out of reach. Tom Muffet was getting a little weary about the second album. That's for one reason. He said, uh, Jerome, this is, it's not going to happen because it, you, if you cannot come to Hawaii, it was then that he listened to We Are Samoa. Our Samoa, the greatest place of all. She is green and blue, lush with beauty, hearts as pure as gold. in English and he says that's a pretty nice song you need to bring it over to Hollywood it's we are Samo because I think Kanga in this way in Hawaii no studio what they has is only 16 channels We 
are Samoa captured a nation's heart. Wherever it went, it renewed cultural pride and trust in God. At a UN conference, it inspired a prime minister. We are Samoa, people from the sun. I don't know if I'm going to go to the medical place. 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 And yet, a cousin in Leia Kako Fording, Kusakako Kala, Kusab Me Uma Kusa, everything Makaki. A chat over beer prompted a historic decision. Soon after, Prime Minister Tofilao publicly declared Samoa would no longer be Western Samoa, but simply Samoa. While I could get a man with a war, be I by the Kaka, we are Pierce and devastated my dad, my mom's death, and a stroke he suffered a year after her passing. The stroke ended the music. A family legacy and a memory revived it. My wife can see something with, with Jerome, can see something with him. You know, Jerome is going to be arrogant for him. She noticed that and then I said, well, God bless you, I think each other sure. And when we go to church all the time, and
Koi kiki ya uma me umo ke mafofobi. I think it koi kasia. Now I'm going to be put that thing out of the court, 75 years old. Koi power me oke mao e fanyoro. So fai sao. Sao, sao gospel. Sao gospel song, sao gospel album. And uh, to me, when that is over, I think it's more or less uh, yeah. I'll be very happy, more than happy, for Ibe Morekua. After days gone by, 50, my life went by, at least I've given something for God, give something for Him. Let our music be an instrument for God. Let me be an instrument in my life. I am not a man. 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 I am Oh